One more quick review. This uh, unit is heavy in factoring, so let's go ahead and factor this stuff out. I strongly encourage you to just pause the video, guys. Write these down and make sure you can do it. Uh, I am going to work them out, but, you know, the, the real goal here is for you to get this done without any help from me because all of these are low-level factoring problems. The GCF here is going to be X. This is a difference of two squares. Oops, that's not squared. The correct form, the completely factored form of this expression is x, x minus 1, or y minus 1, y plus 1. Right here, if you notice, this is factorable because there are factors of negative 10 that add to a negative 3. That is going to be x minus 5 and then x plus 2. What, when you have two terms here, it's either a GCF or a difference of two squares. If you have three terms here, this is what I would call a low-level factoring problem. You need numbers that multiply to this that also combine to the middle number. Four terms down here, the only way that you can do four terms is factoring by grouping. So very quickly, we're going to remember how to do this. When we factor by grouping, we are simply just turning it into a GCF problem. The GCF that these two share are going to be x squared. That is going to leave x minus 1. Here, there is nothing that I can factor out of both of them. However, it's a leading negative, and you have to factor out a leading negative. So we are going to have x squared minus 1 from these two and x minus 1 from the matching pair right there. That is not completely factored. This is a difference of two squares. This turns into x minus 1, x plus 1. And then don't forget, you already had one of these. You must use your exponents. This factors to this completely.